we do research on goat milk because at the moment there's relatively little known compared to what we know about cow milk. So my research on casein is actually part of a bigger picture to understand more about how or why goat milk is actually behaving the way it does. So we started with uh, three different PhD projects. Uh, and next to that, we also have other collaborations with Ausnutria within the same area of better understanding how milk uh, composition and milk functionality are related to each other. So the societal relevance of this research is that with more people drinking goat milk, but especially infants also receiving goat milk-based infant formula, we want to better understand whether or not there are specific functional benefits of consuming these uh, products. Goat's milk is a, is a pretty unique uh, substance. Uh, for us, it's uh, our uh, main business, actually, uh, within our Nutria, and we, uh, we, we convert it into infant nutrition. And as such, we would like to know everything about it. Ausnutria works with a lot of universities and research organizations around the world. Um, for this specific research into goat's milk, we chose Wageningen University for its excellent capabilities in the area of goat's milk and goat's milk protein functionality. Uh, to start research collaborations, we talk to uh, dairy companies and we explain them what our research interests are. And then they can indicate what they are interested in. And if there is a match there, we work together uh, to work this out into a research proposal where we can do joint research that actually fits very well within the research that we do, but also is interesting to the companies we collaborate with. We need science uh, behind the goat's milk in order to, uh, to get to the full understanding of the benefits of goat milk. Um, and as such, uh, make, uh, make sure that we can create these benefits into uh, tangible products. We always have this comparison of how dairy and goat dairy and in goats there has been way less breeding to now so we expect or hope actually to find a larger variation in these caseins. We of course don't know yet but this is part of the research and once we know how big these variations are and what we're actually working with then we want to see how those variations actually affect then yeah the properties of gold milk. The way uh, we keep our independence is on one hand by making sure we work on pre-competitive research questions so we don't study uh, actual products of these companies. But what we do is we try to understand underlying mechanisms. And a second part is that we make agreements beforehand that we are allowed to publish all the results we get from this research. As a company we like to work with universities in order to create a better understanding of the fundamentals of our products, in our case goat's milk. Uh, that can be done in different ways. Uh, um, we can either work on a very confidential basis in certain specific projects, but in the case with the projects with the Wageningen University, we have chosen to do a bit more basic understanding to create fundamental knowledge to bring also the sector further. And as such, we would like to work on those topics in a fully transparent and open way.